Hello, welcome back to my channel. I am Simply Brentley. Don't forget to get your energy in and like, comment, and subscribe. Holy Father, angels, ancestors, speak through me. I hope I reach as many people that resonate with this message. Please and thank you. This is for all of my beautiful, wonderful Virgos. Let's go ahead and ground. For all of my beautiful, wonderful Virgos. Take this little sip of water, y'all. I'm trying to get all these signs out because I want everybody to get the message that they resonate, that pertains to their sign. So for all my couple of Virgos that watch, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. All right. So let's go ahead and use my Archangel cards for this. The first card out is Archangel Hanel. Grace of God, spiritual gifts, intuition, and clairvoyance. So you are this person, you're getting signs from the most high, Virgo. You're getting signs. You're getting a lot of signs. This may be new to you. Um, but you have to know when you're a chosen one that things may be very different. And you have to also use your discernment, okay? Use your discernment. And your gift is going to be very important. So this is definitely for somebody that feels like they're getting a lot of signs and synchronicities lately. And they really are just going on a discovery where their intuition um, it's, it's showing them a lot and they just need to find the courage to, to follow their intuition and listen to it. Okay, so you're struggling following with your intuition. We have a uh, broken arrow here. Embrace the energy of peace. Okay. So there's been a lot of points and times in your life where something may have told you to do, you know, the opposite of what exactly what you did. And there's been other times where, and it didn't go as well. And the times where you were following your intuition and you were told to do something in a certain way and you did it and it went right. So following your intuition is never going to lead you wrong. Okay. Whenever we're not talking about that big voice, we're not talking about that ego. We're talking about your intuition, that very calm voice that's telling you to do the positive, right thing that's going towards your true north. Okay. Don't get it twisted. Let's go ahead and put some tarot on it for all of my wonderful, beautiful Virgos. We have the Queen of Cups, the Five of Swords, the Five of Pentacles, and the Three of Pentacles. A lot came out, y'all. The Lovers and the Two of Swords. And we're going to go ahead and read them all. So for the Queen of Cups, you are just very intuitive person. Like I was saying, you're just struggling with that. There's been some things that, you know, some betrayals in your past. Um, and you may have gone through some different type of hardships or some type of opportunity that you feel like you have missed, but it was because you were focusing on things that doesn't, don't really matter, okay? There's a point in time where you can focus on things that don't matter, but you can never focus on things that don't matter more than you're focusing on yourself. And it's like uh, you kind of lost uh, sight of yourself in a certain situation. And you're growing that back now here with the Three of Pentacles. You're really putting some things together and working on yourself and, and learning, Okay, because learning, where you're learning, you're growing, right? And if you're learning things and you're not growing, there's a problem. The, the, Lucy, we have a problem. You got something to explain. So so you got some explaining to do. So it's really like like no other choice but to learn, okay? And with the lovers here, we um, have some choices to make. So there may be somebody in your life that you felt like it was going to be a long haul, a long run with. But now you're separating yourself from them. Now you're really understanding that it's your choice to make. Um, it, you, nobody can put you like nothing on you that you don't want to have on you, that you're not allowing them to put on you. And once you're realizing that your choices can change your timeline, you're really delving deep into that and learning and making different, making difficult choices here with the two of swords. So as we say that the next thing out is the four of pinnacles. So with that, you're, 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 um, you're, you're really, um, looking on the two, the four of pinnacles with the eight of swords. So you're really looking for some balance here. You're really letting go and changing priorities because you're realizing that whenever you're focusing things, focusing on things that really don't matter, you're not losing, you're not gaining. And that's not a good place to be. You always want to be in the energy of gaining, okay? We have the Queen of Wands here. So you are this very vibrant, magnetic, determined person. You're valuable. You give good advice and you're a good listener. You just have to understand that you have those qualities and put it back into yourself. So whenever your intuition is telling you to do certain things that you can listen once it's true, you're true north. If it's any negative things, you know that's not of you. That's of the devil. So I just want you to understand that it's going to be very, very, very important to pay very close attention to your intuition right now and just follow exactly what it's telling you to do. All right, all right, all right. 
Don't forget to get your energy in and like, comment, and subscribe. As always, peace, love, and namaste.